You can only imagine what the woman trapped under all of this has been living through for more than four days and what it must feel like to know that help is so very, very close. It's complicated. You can't really see what's what's going on in there. They're probably about 30 or 40 feet in the slab. So. It's been three hours since the Turkish team first made contact with the woman. They were able to find her exact location with the help of some equipment the Canadians brought. It's essentially, it's, it's an infrared camera that um, we, we can extend it and push it into a void space so we can get a better look. Uh, and then we can, we can, you know, articulate this around. The woman is trapped in her bedroom, as so many others were, when the quake hit in the middle of the night. But miraculously, escaped the crush of when this apartment building collapsed, violently throwing entire lives to the ground. Which is why this is such a remarkable moment. It's like no other call I've, I've been on. Yeah, me um, neither. So it's, it's a very it's special moment and it's yeah. very humbling. They're able to give her food and water, but can't yet get close enough to pull her out. She, she, she can talk. Oh, yeah. She's very, very good. But she can't move out. She can't move past the door. No, no, no. No move, no. Okay. So you need to move more rubble. You need to move more to yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let us know if you need anything. They're able to touch her. There is a door that's on top of her. So they're just trying to remove the obstruction so she can move around. But she is able to talk. Um, she says she's she says she's okay. But until she's out, there's fear on the faces of loved ones. The team struggles to reach her. They want a hydraulic lift, but no one has one. So they have to try another route by crawling underneath the building. Courageous work that's taking place all across southeastern Turkey. More than six hours after they made contact, there's finally enough space to free her. The crowd seems to hold their breath as they look on. Yeah. Again, just a, an, inc an incredible moment. Um, this happened Monday. She's been in that building for days. Freezing. As soon as she's out, she's wrapped in a blanket and given oxygen and rushed to an ambulance and then the hospital. It's a rare moment of joy at a very dismal time. They were all trying to get a photo of themselves after the rescue. So we want to get out of the way. We don't want to be in the photo. Let's, Dim Dimitri and I are going to move over here. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry. We're just going to come over here and join our Canadians. Thank you. Very, very good work. Thank you. Good work, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Where are you from? I am from Canada. How does it feel to bring her out? I am happy. We are happy. He says he's thankful to the Canadian friends for helping us bring a survivor out after 108 hours. What is it like to finally see the moment of her coming out? Oh, it, it's incredible. It, it's, it's, uh, it's such a rare event that you actually have somebody that can survive these conditions. There are hugs and a few group photos, but there isn't much time to celebrate. All right, let's get another one. There are too many other buildings to get to. They just hope that some of those searches will be able to end in the same way. What an extraordinary scene, Briar. And what do we know about the woman's condition right now? Well, Ian, we were able to connect with her relatives, and she's a 38-year-old teacher, Osla Mayan, and all things considered, she's in very good condition. In fact, when she arrived at the hospital, they say she was able to give doctors her, her national ID number, basically like a, a health card number. Uh, we understand that she may have some broken bones and obviously needs, uh, you know, further checkups with the doctor, but considering she's been out in this cold for more than five days, it is remarkable. So cold weather and five full days since the earthquake struck, challenging for everybody, including rescuers. Well, that's right. I mean, they talk about that crucial 72-hour window, but they believe there still could be more survivors out there. In fact, in this city alone, officials say that they've rescued around 250 people from the rubble this week. Ian. All right, Byron, we'll uh, speak some more later in the hour. Thank you. Thank you.